Hi everyone, in this video we will review how our cash flow forecast Excel template can be used by anyone, either for personal, household or even for your business financials. We all know that planning ahead is the best method to manage your money, take important decisions regarding your savings, investments, expenses. So let's see how this tool can help you manage your financial year. The cash flow forecast template is available to purchase from our online store with the link provided in the description below. So here we are. Thank you for watching. First we will do a brief review of this Excel uh, template and then we will go over a complete example to show you how you can easily manage your financial year. So starting from the top, on the right here we have our uh, multi-currency selector. You can uh, select any currency from your drop-down available menu. We also have a minimum alert. This is it's up to us. We can set a minimum amount to show us when our monthly balance falls below this uh, minimum amount. For instance, if I change it to $5,000, we can see that in these two months our uh, balance was below our minimum. We also have our uh, custom starting month for the year. We can uh, change it to anything we want so we can get our 12 month planning period. And uh, also we have our starting balance at the first month. At the very top we have our uh, 12 month period and our starting balance at the beginning of each month. Here you see that, that my starting cash in hand balance is the same as the starting balance for January 2024. Right below we have a table where we input all our income expected income uh, sources. We can uh, add or remove or even change any income category. We get our total income per month as well as our total per income category. The same with our expenses. We plan ahead and we foresee what our expenses will be for each month of the year for any of the uh, expense categories. Again, again, this can be changed. You can add more categories, remove categories, change the names. And we have our category total for the year as well as our expense total for each month. And in the second um, Excel tab, we have some uh, uh, reports. We have our monthly cash flow. We have a chart comparing each month our income versus our expenses. We have a pie chart um, showing all our expenses where we can pinpoint um, which expense is uh, causing us the most. Plus we have again our monthly balance and our monthly income and expense totals. So let's go ahead and start with a clean template, work an example and see how anyone can benefit from planning ahead. This is how the template looks before we start entering data. So let's go ahead and start planning our financial year. At the top here, uh, we'll choose my currency for Euro. I will uh, input an alert for 2000. If my balance at each, any month falls below this amount, the uh, month uh, starting balance will turn red. Starting date, let's start from uh, January 24. 
and we can see our uh, already see that our 12 month period has already been uh, populated starting from the starting date and my starting cash in hand is 2500 so now we can see that January 2024 starting this month we have two and a half thousand euro available and uh, currently they all stay the same for each month since we haven't yet started input any income or expenses so now that we finished with the setup we will uh, go ahead and uh, enter our data for our income sources first monthly salary i have a constant monthly salary of 3000 euro per month I will just copy and paste this into every month. You can automatically see that each month increases by 3000 euro. Uh, I also have an online uh, shop where I expect some income, let's say 300 each month. And um, at some specific months, I expect my income to be a little bit more and some other months I expect it to be less I also expect to have uh, in April in April of this year uh, there's some money that a friend owes me and uh, I'm expecting him to pay back in April so now that I've entered all my expected income sources we get our total income for each month as well the total per income category plus all my monthly starting balances keep increasing after each month since we haven't yet entered any expenses can also have a look at uh, the reports we can see that our monthly cash flow keeps increasing income versus expenses no expenses yet no expenses on the pie chart and this is our uh, income and expenses summary so let's go back and start entering our expenses now again these are the categories that you will first see when opening this uh, template this can be changed to anything and you can also add or remove categories as you please at the top rent I'm paying rent 600 euro a month and my landlord already informed me that in informed me that in September the in September the rent will go up and it will become 750 750 uh, I'm expecting also to pay some uh, housing repairs in uh, April of about 500 and again in October another 400 these are just estimates it's better to plan ahead with estimates that than uh, do nothing next up are the utilities uh, electricity phone uh, cable and what have you these are uh, basic every month so I'm just gonna copy them in for all the months I also have uh, insurance for my two cars uh, one will be paid in January 400 euro and the other one in September that's 350 and you can see um, as soon as we enter an amount in the expenses our um, starting balance for each month changes accordingly we also get our expense category totals and uh, we will proceed i'm expecting some other uh, vehicle other car costs maybe i will do a service of the car here in april and most probably we will need to change tires in november since uh I've been using the same tires for three years now tires will cost 600 euro 
I don't have a personal loan or a student loan, but I do have a car, lo car loan, which is being paid monthly at an amount of 285 euro. Copy and paste for all the months. We are expecting to have some entertainment expenses as a family. Let's start with the 300 per month and uh, change them for specific months let's say july summertime we spend more the same with august um, birthday is coming up in november so we we'll most probably pay a lot more and uh, 500 let's say for march groceries we are spending an average amount of about 400 euro per month on groceries. So this is it for our groceries. Some takeaway, let's say 100 euro per month as an estimate for takeaway. Uh, we'll also enter some uh, clothing expenses. Let's say 150 every couple of months. Uh, I'm not paying tuition, supplies, pocket money. We're giving pocket money to our children, 100 euro per month. They're not costing us a lot. Uh, savings and investments, I will uh, leave them for later because I'm not sure if um, I have enough for savings and investments. We will uh, come back to it. Pets. Our little doggy costs us about 50 euro per month. Legal fees, miscellaneous, other. So uh, I've just entered what I'm expecting to pay each month for this year. We have a total for each month. These are my expenses each month. Some are higher, some months are lower. And uh, this is my total starting balance at each month of this year let's have a look at the reports let's make them a little bit bigger so my monthly cash flow it looks like i'm doing very well uh, my cash flow it keeps increasing every month so that means that i might have some opportunity for savings or even investments my expenses look like they are lower than the income each month apart from november they are a little bit higher uh, my biggest expense here is the rent cannot do anything about it 15 percent of my expenses are utilities again these are set another 15 percent is entertainment so if uh, there's a need for um, saving some more uh, maybe entertainment will be a choice to cut down and another 15 percent on groceries unfortunately we we do need to eat this here need to be these columns need to be a little bit wider so i can see here that uh, each month i'm saving money and my cash flow keeps increasing so maybe it's a good idea to make some savings so let's go back to our uh, expenses uh, table uh, remember there is a category savings and uh, let's think positively let's say i'm gonna be saving 300 each month you see my balance at each month has already changed let's go see our reports I can see here that I'm still doing uh, very good so let's make some investments as well let's say another 300 in investments every month I'm very optimistic here now our cash flow starts to 
increase the first couple of months and then since I'm having uh, bigger expenses than my income it starts to reduce my cash flow starts to reduce so I better go back and change my investments uh, to 150 each month and go back to our cash flow it looks better I'm satisfied so for an example let's say that um, somewhere in maybe in uh, May we had a uh, a medical emergency and we had to spend 1500 euro in May these are unexpected costs and uh, no one can avoid them and uh, the important thing with this uh, template it's that it's it is dynamic you can come back make changes as you're progressing through the year and take um, preliminary steps to correct your cash flow so we can see here that my cash flow dropped a little my expenses are higher than my income so why not and I will not make any savings this month and uh, I won't uh, put in money for investment as well and we might as well cut down on entertainment on the next month So my cash flow looks better now, keeps increasing, I'm doing well. And that's the important thing about planning ahead. You can dynamically and in real time input your expenses as they come along. Uh, adjust your uh, expenses, adjust your savings see where you there is a possibility for cutting down on some expenses if you need to find other sources of income and so on it's a very powerful tool everyone i believe that everyone should plan ahead their financial year so that uh, we don't end up surprised and with problems so thank you for watching. I hope you find this Excel spreadsheet useful. It will help you plan your financial year. Remember, it's available to purchase from our online store with the link in the description below. Thank you for watching.